Okay, world history folks, we are in unit three and we are learning about the American civilizations. And uh, today we will continue our lesson in chapter six about Mesoamerica. And we are doing section three about the Aztec. And today we will cover Tenochtitlan, an Aztec city in pages 166 to 167. Okay, so have your books ready or log in to our Loda USD website and from there launch Clever and from Clever log in with your student account and you will see Cengage Learning on the left side and from there the same log in with your student account and password and from the left side it's unit 3, chapter 6, section 1, lesson 1, Tenochtitlan, an Aztec city, pages 166 to 167. At this point, you are probably familiar with the essential question of this chapter. How did Mesoamerican civilizations adopt and adapt the cultures of earlier civilizations? And these civilizations are the Almec, Zapotec, and recently we learned about the Maya. And today we will continue our lesson about the Aztec civilization. The Aztecs settled in central Mexico and found a great empire there. So lesson 3.1 describes the splendor of the Aztec city of Tenochtitlan, which contained pyramids and temples similar to those built by other Mesoamerican civilizations. The Aztecs are nomads, so around 1300s, they migrated into the Valley of Mexico. There are so many rival city-states around this time, but the Aztecs settled there and adopted local ways and served powerful kings as farmers and warriors. 25 years later, uh, the Aztec founded their own city, Tenochtitlan. And today, Tenochtitlan is known as Mexico City. The Aztecs are so good in adapting to their environment. Uh, they built their city, Tenochtitlan, on two islands in a swamp in the western part of Lake Texcoco. A lot of people will not survive in that type of environment, but to feed their growing population, they constructed artificial fields called chinampas. And these chinampas, like the one that you are seeing in your screen, are filled layers of mud and vegetation to raise uh, the soil level above the water. So they are like floating. They planted trees alongside to mark off planting areas. Um, they covered the areas with soil dug up from the bottom of the lake. And this was hundreds of years ago. Farmers planted maize, beans, and different kinds of squash on the Chinampas. These remarkable fields produced many crops and the Aztec population eventually thrived. And because of this, uh, lots of reservations and food that are stored and security, they were able to explore other areas of their culture, such as art and building pyramids and temples and even roads and that are impressive even as compared to uh, many European civilizations around this time. One advantage of living in a lake was the canoes made uh, transport easy so trade flourished like the ancient uh, Florence or Venice. In time, the Aztec established twin city of Latelolco in the northern part of Lake Texcoco. Latelolco had a huge marketplace, just like the one illustrated in front of you. So every day, thousands of people crossed the lake in canoes and visited Latelolco's uh, busting market. Now that is a tongue twister, Latelolco's. Anyway, enough of that before I go loco. Let's take a look at this map right here. At first, they are just hired farmers, uh, but eventually the Aztec developed into skilled warriors. At first, they fought for other kings, but then they overthrew their masters and began fighting for themselves. They allied with two other cities, Texcoco and Latopan. So to form a powerful triple alliance uh, that the Aztec would control by 1428, well-trained Aztec armies marched steadily through Mesoamerica, forcing hundreds of small city-states to surrender to Aztec rule. In a way, they are a lot like the Romans, the Spartans, and other 
great civilizations that started as just a group of farmers, a group of nomads, eventually becoming a very powerful empire. What you're seeing in the map, uh, especially the green uh, shaded part of Mesoamerica is the Aztec Empire by 1503. The orange part is Moctezuma II's conquest. The Aztecs developed a system just like the Romans, the Egyptians, the Persians, um, a bureaucratic system or government officials that kept order and enforced uh, the supply of tribute to Tenochtitlan. So tribute or a payment for protection was made in food, raw materials, goods, or labor. So over time, the Aztec grew rich and commanded a vast empire stretching from the Pacific Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. Around 6 million people lived in the Aztec Empire at its height, and that is a lot during this time. For example, by 1519, about 200,000 people lived in Tenochtitlan, which had become the largest city in Mesoamerica. It was one of the most magnificent cities of its time. The Pyramid of Templo Mayor, or the Great Temple, towered above the city. Dozens more temples and many beautiful places surrounded the Templo Mayor. Four roads divided the city into quarters, each with district neighborhoods, leaders, farmland, markets, and temples. This magnificent city was crisscrossed by canals and connected uh, to the mainland by along causeways or roads across the water. So when Spanish explorers arrived by 1519, they marveled at Tenochtitlan's size and splendor. The conquistadors are probably thinking that they will see a group of savages in the middle of the jungle, but to their surprise, the civilization they discovered is even uh, more advanced than um, what they know in the Old World or the continent of Europe. So that is Tenochtitlan, a great city that can be compared to other great uh, cities of world civilizations. Now let's go to the review and assess uh, questions. For number one, let's go to reading check. What features made Tenochtitlan an awe-inspiring city? Number two, analyze cause and effect. How were the Aztec able to develop productive farm fields in a swampy lands around Tenochtitlan? And for number three, interpret maps. Use the map scale to determine how far the Aztec Empire extended from north to south. So you will use this map in your book um, and determine how far in miles uh, they extended from north to south. You don't have to give the exact uh, distance, but you can give a rough estimate or an approximation of this coverage of the Aztec Empire. Okay, now go back to our Google Classroom and open the Review and Assess Assignment, Chapter 6, Section 3, The Aztec, and uh, you will put the answers to those Review and Assess questions in our um, Google slide in the first slide. Don't forget to fill in your last name and first name and all those information. And of course, uh, be sure that you will put uh, the definition of the key vocab. And uh, if you are aiming for the full credit, you need to, well, number one, have the correct answers. Number two, use your own words. And number three, write in complete sentences. Okay, so that is our lesson 3.1 of chapter 6, Tenochtitlan, an Aztec city.